Hello, it's Father Vogel. We continue our study of St. Francis de Sales' Introduction to the Devout Life. We are learning about his um, simple method for meditative prayer, and we have started looking at the preparatory steps. There's three steps. The last two chapters, we looked at the first step, which is to recall that we're, we are in God's presence. The second step is to then uh, the, the invocation to call upon God uh, for his assistance. And now the third step of preparation uh, before the meditation um, itself begins is to imagine the scene. And so what uh, Francis means by that is to take the scene that you have in the scripture or the meditation that you're given and you're going to bring it to your uh, imagination. He says, presenting to one's imagination the scene of the mystery taken from meditation, as if it were really and truly taking place before us. So uh, whatever it is that you're, that you're going to meditate on, you want to engage your imagination and uh, bring forth that scene. So for example, let's say you're meditating upon the um, um, the mystery of Jesus' passion and death. So using your imagination, you would bring that scene right before you. And so imagine being there on Calvary. You can see the crowds of the Romans jeering at him. You can see Mary and the Magdalene and, and John there looking up at Jesus in sorrow. You can see Jesus in his agony upon the cross. So use all your uh, imagination to place yourself there in, uh, in that scene. And from there will come the, come the meditation uh, itself. So he says, for example, like on all similar mysteries concerned with things that can be seen or which are perceptible to the senses, go ahead and use your imagination. So if the mystery that you're doing can be imagined, then we can use our imagination. Though he's also going to say that there are some times when you're not going to use the, do this step. You're not going to use your imagination. He says, with regard to other mysteries, such as the greatness of God, the special goodness of virtue, the purpose for which we have been created, as those are invisible things, do not try to make use of the imagination. So we can only imagine things that actually can be visualized in some way and so that's going to include you know a lot of these uh, biblical narratives biblical stories but he says like for example you know if we're meditating upon God's greatness we can't imagine God in his complete in his greatness so we can't really use the imagination for that um, the closest we can get he says is kind of like uh, using analogies, and those are things that we can kind of visualize, but God's greatness in, it, in, in itself is not something we can imagine. We are, in that sense, just applying our reason rather than our imagination. So that's the third step of preparation, is to apply our imagination to whatever it is that we are going to meditate upon. God bless.